I remember when I was a little teenager, I came across such paintings. I found them appealing, but I didn't really understand why they are so important. However, when I came to know how much they really cost, I was absolutely shocked. Let me ask you, how much do you think this one costs? Few thousand dollars? Maybe a hundred thousand dollars? How about a couple of millions? Believe it or not, in 2017, it was sold for a staggering $450 million and became the most expensive painting to ever be sold at an auction. But how did they come to that number? There isn't any specific mechanism to figure out how much exactly a painting should cost. However, there are certain factors that could possibly affect the price. That's why they are sold at auctions, and whoever is willing to pay the most will take the painting home. The first and most important factor that raises the price of the art is the year it was painted. The older it is, the more expensive it gets. Salvatore Mandi was painted by Da Vinci in 1500 for Liu XII. Throughout five centuries, it had exchanged the hands of the elites around Europe and somehow survived to our day, which makes it even more valuable. The artist's name is equally important. Da Vinci is famous for his masterpieces. He was a scientist, inventor, mathematician, historian, engineer, architect, painter, writer, and so on. But most importantly, he is the author of the most famous painting in the world, Mona Lisa, which automatically raises the value of all of his other paintings, including Salvatore Mandi. Since these paintings are so old, they haven't been always protected properly. I mean, they weren't always as valuable as today. Many of them have been damaged multiple times and a lot of money and time has been spent to restore them. Since it was auctioned in 1763, Salvatore Mandi disappeared from the record for over a century, until it was bought by a British collector in 1900. The painting was damaged from previous restoration attempts and has been attributed to a follower of Leonardo, Bernardino Luini, and for the next 100 years it was believed to be a copy. That's why it was sold at an auction in 1958 for just $59. Later in 2005, the painting was resold for $10,000 to a consortium who believed that it looked like a copy because it has been heavily overpainted. So they have spent the next few years restoring the painting, and the work eventually was authenticated to Da Vinci, which skyrocketed its price. And that's how a simple painting suddenly became so expensive. But that's just part of the story, because the real reason why a piece of art that looks like it was painted by a little kid is suddenly sold for millions of dollars. Let's say you are a multi-millionaire, you buy a piece of art from the primary market for a million dollars, and hang it on the wall of your office. After 5 years you make 22 million dollars, you will have to pay a lot of taxes on that. However, here is how you can avoid that. Remember the piece of art you purchased for a million dollar? Surprisingly, now it's worth seven million dollars. Its value has increased over the last five years. Since you're such a generous guy, you donate that piece of art to your favorite museum and you deduct seven million dollars as a charitable deduction from your 22 million dollars income. Now you pay taxes on only 15 million dollars. Congratulations, you have saved millions of dollars in taxes. The media spreads the news about what a generous person you are since you have donated a piece of art that costs seven million dollars. And the museum puts your name right beside the painting so everyone knows that it's you who donated it. And that's in my humble opinion is why art is so expensive. Art is great, however, the real reason why they are so expensive has nothing to do with the art itself. The elites of the society use art to avoid taxes and boost their image.